good to see you. Hey, welcome to class number 14. We're gonna get started with a little bit of a warm up. Just to kick us off, we're gonna do 30 jumping jacks. I want you guys to count it with me. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, almost there, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good work, guys, okay. So now what we're gonna be doing is just little bits of jogging in place like this, okay? So we're gonna start adding more and more to this as we jog, but for now, just a simple jog in place. Now, as you're jogging, I want you guys to kick your feet back behind you like this. You're staying on the balls of your feet. Good. Keep the rhythm, keep moving, and don't let your feet get flat. Good, now, taking your knees up in front of you, like this. Good, good, good. Breathe throughout the motions, guys. Good, now, what I want you guys to do is kick your feet back to your hands. So not straight back, but kind of out to the side. And let your hand touch each foot, each time. Good, now we're gonna do it in front. We've done this before. So now I'm just kind of touching my calf as I bring my foot up in front of me. Time, all right guys, good, relax a little bit. So we're gonna go back to jogging in place, but we're gonna add some things we call sprawls. So watch, when I say sprawl from the middle of your jog, you're gonna put your hands on the ground, kick your feet back, kick your feet up, and go right back into jogging. What I don't want you to do is just drop onto your face or your hands. Set your hands down, kick your feet back, and then play it in reverse. All right, guys, here we go. Jogging in place, just like this. So when you hear me say sprawl, you're gonna do that motion. Ready, sprawl, hands, feet, and then back up, back to jogging. Sprawl, good, very good, keep it up. Keep jogging in the middle, no standing still, sprawl. Good. I'm going to show you from the side so you guys can see the motion if you're still a little confused on it. Keep going. Sprawl. Good. Great work, guys. Keep it up. Sprawl. Good, good, good. Sprawl. Good. One more. Sprawl. Excellent. Okay, guys, relax a little bit. So, while you're catching your breath, I'll explain the next part which is gonna be a jump, okay? Now, of course, we all know how to jump, but we're gonna do a, a big jump, like a leapfrog sort of jump. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squat down like this, but instead of sprawling my feet back, I'm then gonna explode up with my arms up over my head, okay? So you're jogging, you hear jump, you're gonna go down and then up like this. Don't forget to go down so you can have a really high jump. All right, guys, here we go. Jogging in place. Keep breathing. Jump, down, up, good, and then back to it. Jump, down, up, good, and make sure your arms go over your head. Ready? Jump, down, up, nice, keep going. Jump, down, up, nice. Almost there, guys, keep it up. Jump, down, up. Keep breathing. Watch how low I get, see from the side. Jump, down, up, nice. Last one. Jump, down, up, very good. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna say jump or sprawl, okay? I might even say both. I might say sprawl jump, right? And you're gonna have to do both. But we're gonna just be jogging the whole time, listening for the command. All right, guys, here we go. Jogging in place. Sprawl, good. Jump. Should be sweating by now, guys. Keep it up. Jump. Sprawl. Sprawl. Doing good, keep it up. Sprawl. Sprawl, jump. 
That's called a burpee. <laughs> Good job. Jump, down, up. <sighs> Keep it up, guys, come on. Sprawl, <sighs> we're almost done. Keep it up. Jump. <sighs> Good job, everybody. Excellent warm up. All right, guys, let's get into a stretch. Let's swing those arms back and forth like this. Good, now take the arms forward in big loops, big circles. Trying to get a full range of motion when you do this. Now let's go the other way. Good, now I want you guys to take one arm and push it across. So you're pushing on your elbow and stretching your shoulder. Good, let's do the other arm. Other arm across, push on the elbow. You should feel that stretch in your shoulder. If you don't feel it, that means you got flexible shoulders. Twist. Good. Nice. Pivoting on your feet as you twist. Good, now hands on your hips and big circles. Keeping your head right over your feet but moving those hips all the way around. And the other direction. Good. All right, guys, extend up nice and tall and fold towards your toes. If you can't get to them, that's okay. But you want to get as low as possible. Good. And then come on up. Now, what I want you guys to do is you're gonna take your right foot and step back, and you're gonna tap your knee to the ground. See, I'm like this. Now I wanna push my hips forward like this. I've had people ask me, where should I feel this stretch? Maybe about this stretch or some other stretch, and I always ask them, where do you feel it, right? And wherever they tell me they feel it, that's where they need their stretch. So this stretch, guys, usually you'll feel it here, like in the hip and in the quad. But if you feel it maybe in the front a little bit too, wherever your body feels that stretch, that's kind of where you need to be stretched. Good, now straighten your front leg and lean forward. And remember guys, when we're doing our stretches, we wanna feel uncomfortable, but we don't wanna hurt ourselves. We're just trying to get ready for class, loosen the body up, not put it through complete and total agony. But we do wanna feel uncomfortable. Now bring that foot back, let's bring the other foot up, press the hips forward. So why uncomfortable, guys? Well, growth comes from discomfort, right? You're, if you're comfortable in anything, whether it be stretching, how high you're kicking, then you're not pushing yourself, right? So you won't improve if you're comfortable the whole time. So we gotta make ourselves uncomfortable until that position, like let's say this stretch. If I go here, this deep, this is uncomfortable for me. But if I stick with it for a while, eventually this will become more comfortable, and then what do I have to do? Push a little farther. Let's move on, toes up. And lean forward. And the more you work through that discomfort, the more things you'll be comfortable with. Good. All right, guys, let's bring both feet back. Now I want you to kind of bring your heels out to the side. Don't sit right on your heels. You can kind of see my heel is out to the side like this. And then I'm just gonna lay back here. You might be able to go all the way to the ground you might not feel comfortable going that low. Maybe you go here and then lift your hips up, but this is gonna stretch your quads on the tops of your legs. If you can go all the way down, that's great. But make sure you can get back up. Good, and come on up. Now, sit all the way down, and legs out as wide as you can. Now, we're gonna lean our chest forward and reach out in front of us. might notice that some days when you're stretching, it's less comfortable than other days, right? So why is that? Well, there could be a variety of reasons. Um, let's reach to the side while we talk. So if you notice that you might do a stretch and then the next time you did that stretch, it was like way less comfortable, like you almost felt less flexible, sometimes that means we're just not doing that stretch enough, right? So right now with you guys taking these classes, we're doing them twice a week, but let's go to the other side. But if you can find time in your day to stretch, um, even when you're not doing these classes, guys, then you won't experience that, right? You won't experience that 
extra discomfort, right? Because you'll just be getting your body as used to it as possible. Good, and back to the center. So again, that's really the secret, guys, to improvement is you have to be uncomfortable, regardless of what you're doing. You gotta be doing it to the point where you're uncomfortable doing it. And you've gotta be consistent. You gotta do it a lot. Okay, and two, two times a week doing the class is good, but if you can get that extra time to stretch in, maybe we are just sitting watching TV doing these stretches, you'll really start to see the benefits. Okay, now bring those in and lean forward. Good. Now, I want you guys to put your hands on your knees like this, push the knees down, and then lean forward again. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now bring those back in. Now let's put one foot out. And we're going to put the other foot across as we reach out and see if we can get a hold of our feet. Good. Now, put your hands behind you, pull that foot up towards your chest. So where should you feel this one? I don't know, wherever you feel it, right? Wherever you feel your stretch is where you need it. But for the most part, we're gonna feel it here, kind of in the hip and glutes here. Now what I want you guys to do is put that foot down, extend up tall, and twist. This one you should feel in your torso. Good, let's switch, put the other foot out, and the other foot across, reach out and grab your toes. Good, now hands behind, fold it up, ankle and chest together. If you don't feel it, you can push your chest, use your hands behind you and bring your chest towards your foot. Good. All right guys, now put that foot down, extend your body up nice and tall and wrap this arm over and twist. Great job. All right guys, one more stretch. We're gonna come all the way down here to our hands and knees, tuck the toes, press the hips into the air and get those heels to the floor. Stretch those calves, the backs of your legs. Kind of stair step them a little bit. Head between your shoulders. Good. Let's pop it up and get ready for class. All right, everyone, attention and bow. Step back into a fighting stance. So guys, we're just gonna bounce our knee up off of our shoulder. We're gonna count one to 10 in Korean. You count with me. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Moving fast, guys. Dose. Yose. Ilga. You do. Aho. You. Good, switch your feet. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. Yose, Yuga, Yudu, Aho, Yu. Good, switch your feet. Count with me, guys, so you'll know how to count by the end of this. We're gonna do a straight leg, stretch kick up high. Ready? Hana, Du, Set, Net, Dose, Yose, Yuga, Yudu, Aho, you good. Switch your feet. Same thing on the left. Ready? Hana. Do. Hands up, head up, guys. Set. Net. Dose. Yose. Yuga. You do. Aho. You. Good. Switch your feet, guys. Big circles now. Crescent kicks going all the way around, just keeping the legs straight. Ready? Hana. Set, full range of motion. Net. Dose. Yose. Yuga. Yudu. Aho. You. Switch your feet. Same thing on the other side. Ready? Hana. Do. Set. Net. Dose. 
よしウガユルアホエンユーエクセレント !Alright, guys, so last thing we're gonna work with this, we're gonna do a straight leg up, put it down, straight leg in a circle. When you put it down, you're not actually putting it down. So I go up, almost to the ground, and then use that hip flexor to get a circle. Alright, guys, so we're gonna do 10 each. Ready? Hana! Circle. Nice. Do! Great for building strength in your hip flexor, guys. So you get nice high kicks. Set! Net! Dose! Notice how my head stays steady. Yose! Uga! You guys are doing great. You do! Aho! One more. You! Awesome. All right, guys, switch the feet. We're going to work the same thing on the other side. Finish this up. Ready? Straight up, drop, circle. Hana! Good. Do! Set! Net! Dose! Awesome, guys. Keep those hands up as you do it. Yose! Yuga! You do! Aho! One more. You. Very nice job, guys. Attention and bow. All right, guys. Time to do some side kicks. We're gonna be doing pretty much every kind of side kick we can think about. We're gonna start with just a regular knee up defensive side kick. So here's what I want you guys to do: pick your knee up like this and balance. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna turn our foot on the floor. We're gonna turn our heel that we're kicking with, and we're gonna throw out the kick. Good. Do that one more time, slow with me. Ready? Knee up. Balance, this is the most important part. Now we're gonna turn our heels, one on the floor, one we're kicking with, and we snap out that side kick. Okay, now we're gonna do it fast, with me. Ready? All the way out, and then back. Don't skip your knee up. Good, so I'm not stepping or anything like that, I'm just picking my leg up. Good. Good, now guys, look at my foot right now. Watch me do one. Look at my foot right here. See how that changes? See how my heel turned? If you're having trouble doing that during the kick, you can cheat. You can start with your heel already turned like that, so it can just stay there the whole time we're doing this. Okay, guys, ready? A few more. Last three. One. Two. One more. Three. Nice. Okay, guys, let's do the same thing on our left. Here we go. Starting with the knee up. Just get this position. Good, so now we're gonna turn the heel on the floor, get our foot ready to kick, and we extend. Okay guys, let's do it again. One more slug, knee up, get your balance. Turning, and then we kick it out. Okay guys, now we're gonna do it fast, with me. Ready? Good. Excellent. I want you guys to visualize a board right in front of you, just sending your foot right through it. And remember our little cheat, guys. If you want to start with your foot like this, that's perfectly fine. Three more. One. Two. Three. Excellent work, guys. Okay, so now we're going to get into a step behind side kick. So, deep horse stance. We're going to be kicking with our right foot. Look, I step. I'm pointing my heel. I'm lifting my knee. And I'm doing the same motion that we just did. Now we're gonna reset ourselves back. All right, guys, ready? Oh, Boom, good. Make sure that when you step, you're pointing your heel. Now, we're gonna go the other way, okay, guys? So now we're gonna step here, kick with our other foot, and we're just gonna keep going back and forth. Ready? Oh, good. Land in your horse stance, get ready to go to the other side. Oh, good, look the other way, balance. Oh, Very good. Good. Okay, guys, so we talked about our knee up, we talked about pointing our heel, but we also have to make sure we're hitting with our heel. So the way we hold our foot is very important. If your ankle is just kind of relaxed, no good. You gotta hold that foot tight. Ready? Good, visualize your target, guys. Very 
Nice. Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. One more. Oh yeah. Very nice job, guys. Okay, this one, um, we're it's kind of a flying sidekick. Not really a flying sidekick where we run across the whole room or anything like that. But we are gonna do like a jumping sidekick here, which is like the end of your flying sidekick. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna pick my knee up, and I'm gonna go oh yeah, like that. So I'm not taking a whole lot of space. I don't want you guys taking up a whole lot of space, but you are jumping forward a little bit, okay? So in order to be good at this, you have to be good at your rear foot sidekick. So let's just do a couple of those first. My knee comes up and over. So look how I put my right foot back, and then I bring it up and over like this. Once it's up and over, boom, now I make my side kick. Do a couple of those with me, ready? Just like four, ready? One, boom, all the way out, and then back. Two, boom, and then back. Here we go, three, up, out. Last one, four, boom, okay? That's your motion, but you're gonna be in the air while you do it. So, as you bring that knee up, you hop off the foot you're standing on and you throw that kick out. Let's do a couple together. Make sure you have room in front of you. Ready? Oh yeah! Boom! Look how I'm not taking up a whole lot of space. I'm not trying to get out of control with my jump. Oh yeah! Boom! This way. Very good. Get sideways. Turn your belly all the way over. Ready? Oh yeah! Good. I'm gonna give you guys a side view. Same thing. Oh yeah! Good. Now look at this. This is really, um, for those of you getting pretty good at this kick, look at how I pick this foot up under me, like that. That's what I'm gonna see you guys try to do. Pick up that base foot. Ready? Oh yeah! Nice. Back to you. Ready? Oh yeah! We got two more, guys. Come on. Compose yourself. Ready? Oh yeah! Last one, best one. Ready? Oh yeah! Very good, guys. Attention and bow. Those are your sidekicks. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into some long stances. This is the most important stance for you guys. You gotta make sure you're killing these long stances. Your front knee is bent, your back leg is straight, but let's get working on it. So here's what I want you guys to do. Spread your feet out about shoulder width, hands on your hips like this. We're gonna step forward, okay? I want you to take one foot, you're gonna step forward, boom, you're in your long stance. Now look, my front knee is very bent and my back leg is very straight. What about my shoulders? They need to be forward like this. Let's go back, do it again. Ready? Same foot. Go, step. Excellent. And then back. And you're just keeping your hands on your hips for balance. Ready? Go, step. Boom. Excellent. And then go back. Now look, guys, when I step, I don't want to be narrow. I don't want my feet like on the same line. I want to have a nice wide stance for good balance. Let's do a couple more. Ready? Go. Good. Watch me from the side. You guys keep stepping the way you were. Ready? Go. Look how long, guys. I'm stretching my legs out. I want to see that shape in your legs. Ready? Good, nice. One more. Good job, guys. Okay, so try with the other side. Ready? Let's step with the other leg. Freeze! Is your front knee bent? Is your back leg straight? Very good. Let's go back. Do it again. Step. Good. Shoulders are forward. Good. And then back. Ready? Good. Let's do two more. Ready? Step, freeze. Balance yourself. Go back one more time. Very good job, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna add some punches and blocks and things like that. So we're gonna step forward and do a punch. We're going back to the first leg. As I step, I punch with the same side hand. So, ready, and punch. That means one hand is out punching, the other hand is by my hip, right here. I'm gonna show you guys from the side. We're gonna keep stepping with the same foot. Ready? Good, and back. Good, every time coming back to that shoulder width position with your feet. Ready? Good, now what am I timing, guys? Watch the timing of my punch. Tell me how this looks, ready? Seems a little off, right? What about this? That was wrong, right? I have to time it as soon as my foot touches. Boom, that's when the punch happens, okay? Let's do one more, ready? Good. Now, let's go to the other side. Other foot, other hand. Good, and then back. And back, beautiful. Make sure you're key upping. And then back, beautiful. Come on guys, couple more. 
And back. Nice. Let's do one more. Ready? Solid work, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna do our low blocks. So I make an X, like this. Whatever foot I'm stepping with, that's the arm I'm blocking with. All right, guys, ready? We start in our ready position, we'll make our X, and then we'll go. Nice. When I key up, you're in charge of making your X and your long stance. Ready? Very good. And again. Very nice. And return. Good. And when you're blocking, guys, when you're making that X, make sure the blocking arm is on the inside. Not the outside, but the inside. One more time. Good. All right, guys, let's try it on the other side. So now, other X, other foot. Ready? Good. And then back. Good. Return. Guys, you're killing it. Good job. Ready? Good. And then back. Very good. Let's do one more. X low. Good. Okay. Now we're going to put these together. We're going to step forward into a low block and a punch. But we're going to do one step. Watch me first. Let me show you what I mean. I step forward. I go X low, punch with the other hand. So let's try that again. This is something we do in yellow belt form. Watch again. I go X low, punch. One step, but I have two arm movements. Watch from the side. I go low, punch. Okay, let's do that together. Ready? One, two, good. And you key up on the punch. Ready? Just like that. Okay guys, good, bring it back. Ready? And go. Nice. And then back. Make sure you're chambering, everything's gotta be right. Ready? Good. So guys, what I don't wanna see is this. Right, watch this, I'm gonna kinda of do it wrong. Right, see how I did the block so fast that it didn't really even exist? I need to make a strong block and a strong punch. Ready? Good, and then back. One more. Ready? All right, let's try the other side. Ready? One, two, and then key up on that punch. Ready? And back. And return. X low punch. Good. Two more. One, two. Last one, best one right here. Low punch. Oh, guys, excellent work. Attention and bow. Great job. All right, guys, it's time to talk about our word of the month. And our word of the month is composure. Okay, guys, so last class we talked about what it means to be composed, right? It basically means taking the kind of rational and thinking part of your brain and making sure it stays in control of the emotional responsive part of our brain. Okay guys, meaning when something upsets us or, or even something makes us really overjoyed, right? We don't let ourselves get out of control with our reactions and how we act or how we behave and we learn to control ourselves, right? That's our ability to stay composed. All right guys, so what I wanted to talk about and is give you guys some examples and maybe you guys can think of some responses for how you could be composed in this situation or how you could not be composed in this situation. Okay, guys? So let's say you're at home and you're trying to do homework and your sibling, someone in your house, is just making lots and lots of noise. Okay, so what's a way that we might react to that that's not very composed? Well, we might yell at them, right? Just yell at them, tell them to shut up, tell them to be quiet, right? be really mean in our response, right? Because we're frustrated, right? And I can understand feeling frustrated in that kind of situation, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should be yelling at someone, right? You shouldn't shout, get angry, get all tense in your body and just feel that anger and just let it overflow onto them. Okay, so we wanna learn how to control those sorts of things, right? So what's a composed way to respond in that situation? You could ask them very politely and, and but you know, sincerely say, hey, excuse, do you mind not making so much noise? I'm trying to get some work done right? Perfect. Or maybe request that they move to the other room if they're going to make noise or something like that. Or maybe you could even just take your stuff up and move somewhere else yourself. That's also an option as well. So that's, you know, just taking a moment to think and figure out what the, the proper response would be. Okay. Let's talk about another situation, right? Let's say 
you are playing a video game or something like that, right? And your mom or dad comes in and says, oh, it's time to go, we have this appointment, right? And maybe you knew that appointment was coming up, maybe you didn't, right? But you're upset because you're in the middle of something, you really wanna finish what you're doing, maybe you're playing with your friends. Um, so what's a composed way to respond? What's a not composed way to respond? Well, a not composed way to respond would be to kind of like throw a fit and be like, oh, but mom, I'm in the middle of a game, I can't leave right now, no, no, no. Right? This is kind of us losing our composure, kind of um, getting upset and letting it get away from us and, and kind of acting in a way that we don't really want to behave. Okay, guys? Um, so what would a composed way to respond be? Well, you might just have to turn it off. Right, guys? I understand you might have been in the middle of something. You might have, Your friends might have even been counting on you or something like that, but you just you have responsibilities. You got to do them, right? Now, in both of those scenarios, right, the scenario where your sibling was being kind of loud and in the scenario where you're playing video games, yeah, I get why you might feel a little frustrated in both of those situations. Being composed doesn't mean you don't feel frustrated. You're totally allowed to feel that way, right? And it's normal to feel that way. What being composed is about is how you handle the feeling, right, guys? How you handle the feeling. Do you yell at your sibling when they're being uh, loud? Or do you kind of throw a fit because your parents asked you to get off the, the video game? Right? This is not how we want to behave, right? This isn't, we certainly wouldn't want people to see us behaving this way, right? So we wouldn't want to behave that way, all right, guys? So being composed is about controlling your responses and making sure we're looking for the best possible outcome. All right, guys, everyone say composure. Good job. Let's all stand up. All right, guys, it's time for forms. Attention. Chumbi. White belt form, guys. Look to your left. X. Long stance, low block. Beautiful. Now we're going to keep going this way, we step, we punch. So guys, our front hand, that right arm is out, it's telling us to turn to our right, that's our turn signal. We turn all the way around, X and low block. Good. Now we keep going this way, and we step, punch. Very nice. Now it's our left arm out, it's telling us to turn to the left. We pick that left foot up, we turn, we do a low block right towards the front now. So this is where we do three punches. We're going to do them one at a time, I want you to count them with me. Step punch one. Step punch two. On this third one, we want to let out a big yell. Step punch three. Hurry up! Good. So when you key up on that third punch, that's your cue to move the back foot. This is the only time we move the back foot. So we move our back leg all the way around here, and then we twist, facing this direction in the low block. Now I keep doing what I was doing. Step punch. Nice. We follow the turn signal. The front arm is telling us to turn to the right. X all the way around. Big long stance, low block. Keep going this way. Step and punch. All right, guys, so if you're following along with me, your left arm should be out. You're going to go to the back now. X. Long stance, low block. Here come our three punches. Step punch one. Step punch two. Step punch three. Oh, yeah! Big yell. Okay, guys, so that yell, again, that's our cue to move the back leg. So we move that back leg all the way around. Now we twist. We do a long stance, low block. We keep going this way. Step punch. We've only got two moves left, guys. Pick up the front leg, turn all the way around with your X. Long stance, low block, and then step punch. Good. So when I say follow, you're going to move your left foot. Follow. Tension. And bow. Very good work, guys. Moving on to yellow belt form. Taiguk Iljong is the name. Tension. Jumi. So follow with me. Look to your left. We make our X. Walking stance, low block. We don't have to worry about that big long stance, but we gotta make sure we're snapping our punches and our blocks. Step punch, boom, snap it out. Just like white belt form, we follow the turn signal. We make our X, turn, low block. Step punch, boom, snap that on. Now we go to the front, X, here's our first long stance. To the front, low block, good. Don't move your feet, punch. Good, now this is the first tricky part, guys. We're gonna do an in block, so you're gonna bring your left hand up to your ear, okay? Now you're gonna slide your right foot in front of you, like this. As you do that, your left hand does an in block. Right foot in front, left hand is doing the in block. Now I step and I punch. Very good. Now we bring that punching hand up to your ear. Your left foot turns you and your right arm does the in block out in front of my face. I step, punch. Now I go to the front of the room. X and low block. Good, don't move your feet, punch. Now, I'm gonna make a T. A left high block is what I'm getting ready to do. My left foot is gonna slide in front of me as I turn to the left and do a high block. Now, a right front kick and a right punch. 
Now we turn to the other side. T, we do a right arm, high block. Now it's the left side that's gonna do a front kick and a punch right as I land, still in a walking stance. We've got two more long stances. Your left foot is gonna go all the way to the back. Big turn there, low block. Now you step punch and key up. Aya! Good, both of those are in a long stance. We move our left foot, whoa! Attention, and bow. Nice work, everyone. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into some kicks. We're gonna be working on our balance and control. So I want you guys to get into a fighting stance. We're gonna do two front kicks. All I want you to do is bring your knee up, pause, and then do another one. Okay, guys, so watch me again from the side. I go knee up, kick, pause, and then I do it again. It's not about two fast ones. I want the balance in between. All right, guys, with me, ready? Kick, kick, good. And then put it back behind you, do it again, ready? Kick, kick, good. Slow and steady and controlled the whole way. Ready? Good, and then put it down. Ready, reset. Kick, kick, and then down. You guys are doing great, keep it up. Ready? Kick, kick, nice. I'm gonna show you a side view, you guys keep doing it with me, ready? One, two, good. And notice how my knee, it doesn't dip in between the kicks, that's really important. Ready? I keep the knee up through the whole motion. One more time, ready? One, two, good job guys. All right, let's try it with our other foot. Oh yeah, gotta be balanced on this one too. Ready? Kick, kick, and then put it down. Slow and steady. One, two, and then down. Nicely done. Ready? One, two, and down. Beautiful. Ready? One, two, good. And whatever height you wanna kick is fine, as long as it's above the belt. Couple more from the side, ready? One, two, notice the knee, ready? One, two, good. All right guys, now we're gonna change the kicks, but we're still gonna do that kind of balance in the middle uh, technique. So watch, I'm gonna go front kick, round kick with the same foot. So I go front kick, round kick. Watch me do that again. Ready, front kick, round kick. Now, there's two things that need to change, okay? One of them should be pretty obvious, right? Which is, this foot's gotta pivot in the middle of the kick, okay? So I need to see that. The second thing that maybe is a little less obvious is your foot position. You gotta go from front kick position to top of the foot. So you really got a lot to control when you're doing this combo. All right guys, here we go, ready? One, two, good. You wanna be like a machine, you're just pivoting right when you need to. Ready? Kick, kick, good. Are you controlling your foot as well? Ready? Kick, kick, good job, guys. Ready? Kick, kick, good. I'm gonna show you from the side and you can really notice the pivot here. Ready? Kick, kick, good. Ready? Kick, kick, good. Let's do one more, ready? Kick, kick, good. All right, guys, let's do the other side. Oh yeah, we got the little pivot on this one too. Ready? Kick, twist, kick, good. Balance and foot position. Kick, twist, kick, good. Ready? Kick, good. And I know it's challenging on the left, but look guys, look at how my knee, it stays up throughout the motion. I never let it drop. Okay, guys, couple more. Kick, twist, kick. You guys are doing so good. Ready? Kick, twist, kick. Very, very good. Let's do two more. Kick, twist, kick. One more. Last one, best one. Kick, twist, kick. Very good job, guys. Okay, this last one's gonna be the toughest. We're gonna do a round kick and then a side kick. Okay, so let's watch that slowly. Watch what I do from this angle. First, I do a twist right into a round kick here, right? But I don't fold my foot back like this. I bring my knee to my chest and then I stomp for my side kick. So watch again. I go round kick, wham, and then I stomp out for a side kick. So not only does my knee position have to change, but my foot position from the pointed toes to that flexed heel. All right guys, let's do a couple, ready? Same foot and go. Balance, boom, nice job guys, ready? And again, kick, kick, 
Good. And again. Uh, kick. Kick. Awesome. Come on back. Ready? Uh, kick. Kick. Good. Ready? Uh, kick. Kick. Nice. I'm looking for the balance, guys. It's not about how fast you can do it. Slower shows more balance. Ready? Uh, good. And again. Ready? One, two, nice. All right, guys, let's try it with our left foot. Oh, yeah, left foot side kicks. Here we go. Ready? One, two, good. And again. Ready? One, two, good. One, two. And think about your foot position, guys. On that side kick, you need to flex that heel so you're hitting with the hard part of your foot. Ready? I'm going to show you from the side. Same thing. Two, nice. Let's get a couple more in there. Ready? One, two, good. Last two coming up. One, two, nice. One more. Last one, best one. One, two. Good job, guys. Okay, excellent work. Those kind of high knee chamber positions are great for practicing balance, strengthening your legs, and controlling your kicks. Attention and bow. Hi guys, it's Miss Jill here with your weekly challenge, and this time we're gonna be doing the splits. All right, y'all. So, to start off, I'm gonna preface this challenge with if you can't do it right away, you might not be able to get it this particular week. It might just be some limits of your flexibility. It might take a little bit longer to get all the way down on all three sides for the splits. That's totally okay. If you keep working at it in your free time as much as you can, for too long, you're gonna get all the way there, but it is gonna take some real persistence on your part to get all the way down on all three sides of the splits. But if you can do it, we do have a special patch called the Split Club Patch that you earn when you show us that you can demonstrate the splits on all three sides. So give it your best shot. So we're gonna start on this side first. So you're gonna have one hand on either side of your leg. You're gonna get up on your foot and on your other foot. So all right, if you're not as far down as me, sometimes you might have to start up a little bit further here. As long as you have your hands on the ground, and you're slowly inching your foot a little bit further forward, getting a little bit further every single time you practice. We'll lay it there where it hurts not so much that it's physically painful, but it's a little bit uncomfortable. So you're getting a little bit stronger every time you practice, and you're gonna hold it here for about 20 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. All right. So we're going to walk our hands all the way over to the other side. Again, you want to make sure you have one hand on either side of your leg. It's okay if you're not all the way down. You want to get a little bit further every time you practice stuff and hold it where it's uncomfortable for a little while. So we're gonna do 20 seconds again on this side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, you got this, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good, all right. Here comes the center one. You're gonna walk your hands all the way to the front. Pop both of your hands, your feet out as far as you can. Your hands are out in front of you. Make sure you're not so far forward that your knees are on the ground or so far back that you're sitting on your butt. You're gonna be all the way up on your feet. And your hands are just in front of you for balance. From there, you're gonna slide your feet out as far as you can. Again, making sure you're staying up on your feet, not leaning far back or leaning forward. We're gonna hold this one again, guys. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. All right. Bring everything in. Put it back where it's supposed to be. If you're trying that every single day, a little bit, just like, what was that? Forty seconds, sixty seconds. All things considered, 
You'll have it down before too long. I want to see your splits when you come back.